There's nothing worse than when you know during the titles of a movie that the movie is gonna stink. And that's something that happened to me that during Final Destination 5. The first one, the one with Devon Sawa and Ali Larder, that was a great movie. I'm a big lover of the disposable genre movies that people didn't see during the late 90s, stuff like The Fast and the Furious, or the first Final Destination, because they looked dumb, and they were dumb, but they were also great. It came from that nugget of good, solid, quality genre filmmaking has been stretched out into the just stinky taffy at this point, to the fifth one, which is directed by Stephen Quayle, who, you know, apprenticed under James Cameron. He is a extremely talented, extremely successful summer blockbuster filmmaker. He was the second unit director for Avatar and Titanic, and he has made a terrible film as his feature film debut. And the title sequence reflects that. It's cliched, it's too long, it's poorly executed, and it's pretty well photographed. But that's about it. And you can say all of those things about the actual film. It's like somebody sat down and put the barest minimum thought into something that would then cost millions of dollars and would be delivered to a bunch of theaters in the summer for you to theoretically go see. Like 10 minutes of thought. Like they thought, they sat down and thought, well, it's Final Destination films, so people are gonna die, obviously, bloody. They'll get stuff impaled in them, probably a lot, because that's what happens in these movies. And it's in 3D. So the title sequence, why don't we just fling shit at the audience? That literal, most cheesy, cheap, cliche 3D thing that stopped being entertaining the first time 3D became annoying in the 20s or wherever, whenever that was. What do you feel like? You're like, at, oh no! Like, that's not scary anymore. Dr. Tongue on SCTV. Dr. Tongue, yeah. So let's do that for the whole two and a half minute title sequence. Let's just fling stuff at the audience. Knives, plastic skulls. Like, like let's launch skulls at glass. Genius. Fluorescent light tubes, pieces of furniture, oxygen tanks. Just whatever they could find in the studio that was sharp and hard enough to break a piece of glass in slow motion, scaring the audience over and over and over again. It's terrible, and when you people are laughing at how bad your title sequence is, you've made a bad movie. So what should you watch instead? The thing that it's derivative of, the derivative part of the things that make it bad, is it's derivative of the title sequence for a film that came out a couple years ago called Zombieland, which was directed by... Ruben Fleischer. Who has got a film coming out tomorrow called... 30 Minutes or Less. We can't tell you to go see that. Thank you, by the way, Ryle. Because we haven't seen it, so that would be irresponsible. So we're gonna tell you to go watch, if only just for the title sequence, the title sequence to Zombieland, which was directed and executed by Ruben Fleischer, who directed the film with the help of a company called Logan that does TV spots and graphics for stuff like that. Because it's a piece of genius. It's an art piece that's reflective of how good the rest of that film is. It was executed with care and creative thought. It's funny, it's scary, it's got a great Metallica song in it. And it also features people breaking glass with letters scattering, which is the thing that they ripped off. Stuff breaking glass in slow motion coming towards the audience in Final Destination 5. If you've seen Zombieland recently, which I've seen it relatively recently, so I feel bad you know, recommending that, go watch any of uh, Kyle Cooper, the modern master of title sequence design, any of the, the opening sequences that he's done. Because in every case, they're interesting in and of themselves, well executed, but also carry the themes of the film into the design of the titles. He did stuff like Seven, he did Arlington Road, Spider-Man 1 and 2, Mission Impossible, I think, as well as my favorite, the opening title sequence for the Dawn of the Dead remake from 2000 and what, four? Yeah. Or my favorite title sequence of all time, The Master, the last one he ever did, Saul Bass's title for Martin Scorsese's Casino. Genius piece of work. So watch that instead of the awful Final Destination 5. Thank you.